Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Vanishing and Exploding Gradients in LSTM by Society of Artificial Intelligence or SOAI. I am Ritul and these slides are created by my colleague Tusar. Let's start. Vanishing and Exploding Gradients in LSTM How gates help to solve the problem of vanishing gradients? During forward propagation, the gates control the flow of information. Similarly, during back propagation, gates control the flow of gradients. Gates prevent any irrelevant from being returned to the state. It is easy to see that during back propagation, gradients will get multiplied by the gate. If the loss at LT of theta was large because W not good enough to complete S1 correctly, then this information will not be propagated back to W as the gradient del lt of theta by del w will vanish. How gates help to solve the problem of vanishing gradients? If the state at time t minus 1 did not contribute much to the state at time t, that is, if ft tends to 0 and ot minus 1 tends to 0, then during back propagation, the gradients flowing into st minus 1 will vanish. The key difference from vanilla RNNs is that the flow of information and gradients is controlled by the gates which ensure that the gradients should not vanish when they should that is when ST-1 didn't contribute much to ST. Revisiting vanishing gradients in RNNs In general, the gradient of LT of theta with respect to theta I vanishes when the gradients flowing through each and every path from LT of theta to theta I vanish. On the other hand, the gradient of LT of theta with respect to theta I explodes when the gradient flowing through at least one path explodes. Here, the nice visualization for LSTMs for better understanding of concept. You can see the image on the screen. Visualizing the LSTM's dependency diagram for LSTM. The long-term memory in usually called the cell state. The looping arrows indicate recursive nature of the cell. This allows information from previous intervals to be stored within the LSTM cell. This allows information from previous intervals to be stored within the LSTM cell. Cell state is modified by the forget gate placed below the cell state and also adjust by the input modulation gate. From equation, the previous cell state forgets by multiply with the forget gate and adds new information through the output of the input gates. The remember vector is usually called the forget gate. The output of the forget gate tells the cell state which information to forget by multiplying 0 to a position in the matrix. If the output of the forget gate is 1, the information is kept in the cell state. For equation, sigmoid function is applied to the weighted input for observation and previous hidden state. Visualizing the LSTMs, the save vector is usually called the input gate. These gates determine which information should enter the cell state long-term memory. The important parts are the activation functions for each gate. The input gate is a sigmoid function and have a range of 0 and 1. Because the equation of the cell state is a summation between the previous cell states, comma sigmoid function alone will only add memory and not be able to remove or forget memory. If you can only add a float number between 0 and 1, that number will never be zero, turn off or forget. This is why the input modulation gate has a 10h activation function. 10h has a range of minus 1, comma 1 and allows the cell state to forget memory. For more detailed explanation, here's a great post on Medium by Eugene Kang LSTM Concepts. You can refer to it. Now computing the gradient. 
we are interested in knowing if the gradient flows to wf through sk it is sufficient to show that del lt of theta by del w does not vanish because if this does not vanish we can reach wf through sk for better grip of gradient of a function gradients and partial derivatives when do the gradient vanishes at time step t is equal to 0 here t naught is the gradient of lt of theta at time step 0 with respect to h t computing the gradient the gradient of loss function with respect to hidden states as del lt of theta by del h t is equal to lt dash of h t then the above equation of t naught becomes you can see here on the screen now if the second term which is the derivative of the hidden state at time step t is very small then other two terms which when it will get multiplied by yields even smaller value for the gradients which is known as vanishing gradients and if the second term is very large the product will also be very large which is known as exploding gradients dealing with exploding gradients at time step t is equal to 1 del lt of theta by del ht is equal to lt dash of ht now if we see the exponent on final term which is k t minus k plus 1 which denotes that if w naught is large, then the whole term will increase exponentially, which yields very large gradients or gradients will explode. Society of Artificial Intelligence or SOAI, thank you.